Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of the United States here in the modern day mod. This is actually my second time recording this, so I have played a little bit into the future. But I actually have done this to give you guys a little bit more of an opportunity and a little bit more of a say in the game. So what I'm going to ask you guys uh, because I actually checked in November of 2016 you are allowed to choose the candidate Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump statistically speaking right now if the election were to be held Donald Trump would win by a slim majority but still a majority over all of the polls of course it doesn't do all of the United States and blah 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 but it's over polls I want to give you guys more of an opportunity and a more of a say in this. Now, granted, here's the thing. I don't really enjoy Hillary, but it's not going to kill me if we have her in office. It's not going to kill me if we have Donald Trump in office. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you guys the golden question to brew into your mind while you watch this. And of course, to brew into your mind when um when you guys are thinking about this through the whole thing and at the end when you put your comments down below who do you want as president in 2016 because right now we have barack obama for right now he's almost at the end of his term who do you want at the end because you actually i went ahead and went in and i've read all the thing and you can choose between the two which is really cool so I want to know from you guys, which one would you guys rather see? But what we're going to do for right now, we're going to get started with a task force. Yes, yes, we are. We're going to start a task force. This is going to be the European. Just making sure I spelled that right. Task force. Which this is cool. Wow, this is really cool. This is actual generals. And I don't know if you make a new commander. Is it like actual other generals? Or if it's one of those like generic generals? We're going to go ahead and put this European task force under Jack Kane. Which we're going to rename this theater to the European Force. I call it a force, but it's not actually like a force. It's like a, it's a deployment of troops around the Ukrainian border because Russia recently took Crimea and we don't really like that. Us Americans, we don't like the fact that Russia has done this. So we're going to go ahead and put some troops around Ukraine just to safeguard. Not that bad. I want to go ahead and do some deployments in Korea, but I have to get them to join us first. And I actually could... Could I ask them to join? I can invite them to the faction, but the as you can see, the world tension has to be 45% or more. So for right now, they can't do that. But I can invite them to the faction if need be. Indonesia needs to be 45% or more, and I'm guessing that's going to be for almost any democratic country out here, is it's going to have to be 45% or more. Which is fine. I like that idea. But once we are able to get the Republic of Korea into the faction, we're going to go ahead and start putting some deployments over in Korea against the Democratic People's Republic of Korea because I don't want Kim Jong-un thinking that he can try to do some shady stuff. No, no, no. We're not going to do that. But we are going to send these nine division off to the Ukrainian border to start the first deployment of our troops protecting the Ukrainians over in Europe. I was going to put them over in Germany, but it really doesn't make any sense to kind of try to guard, safeguard this. So Russia owns a little bit of territory right here, Kaliningrad. I didn't actually knew that they owned this. I thought it was part of Poland. It's not. So if we ever go to war with Russia, Poland can very easily snag back their land that was taken from them. Or was this part of Lithuania? I'm not exactly sure which country that belonged to. Who knows? But yeah, we're definitely going to be wanting to watch in Syria 
as Bashar al-Assad continues to rule. I don't know what's going to be going on because I think there is still the civil war. I wish they're going to, I hope they implement that. Like actual like boundary, like border civil war. That would be cool. But it is also very small. So I get if you actually can't. Also, happy Olympic day. The Olympics have started. Technically, I know they started a little bit earlier and stuff like that. There were some games that were getting ready to be played and stuff like that. But it's officially started now. Everything's here and under control. And the Olympics are finally here and back again. And I'm really excited for this because I love watching the Olympics. I love watching the World Cup. I love watching all of the world games. They're so fun to watch. I love watching them. They're so great to watch. So happy Olympics Day for all of you. And I hope you guys are sitting down, of course, watching my video, and of course, watching the Olympics as well, because the Olympics are so fun to watch. They're so fun. At least I love watching them. I don't know why I do, but I, I just love watching them. They're fun. We're also gonna, are we? Yes, we're protecting the independence of the Republic of China. We're going to want to try to get the Republic of China to be the leader of China once more. Because this Communist People's Republic of China can't can't happen for too much longer. They do have a few puppets, of course, Hong Kong, which uh, apparently is its own nation. Did not know that. I did not know that that was its own nation. It is. Very cool. Seems like I love it how much I know of the world and what's going on around me. No freaking idea that that was a thing. So we're going to start our border on the Ukrainians. Not to threaten them, but to defend them from the Russian bear that could be coming up. So what I'm going to do is I think it's around like November like 12th or something. I'm going to pause like October 30th. You know, or th October 30th or 31st, somewhere around there. So that way I give you guys the opportunity of who do you want to see as President Do Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton. This is very much going to be a deciding factor. This is a very decisive campaign. And I want to know from the viewers, who do you want to see as president? Because who we see as president is definitely going to affect our actual world decisions and what we do as a nation. So, I do want to know from you guys that much. Um, that's the main thing I want to see down in the comments, but if you guys want to put anything else, of course, you are more than welcome to do so. Because I love seeing things down in the comments. It's great. So we're going to go ahead, start our task force over here. Not that much is going to go on. We're just going to, you know, place a few units around just across the Ukrainian border just to show them, hey, you know, the, U the United States. Yeah, we're still here, buckaroo. We're going to go ahead and uh, I can't guarantee the independence of them because I don't have political power enough to do so. We're definitely going to want to do that. We're going to want to guarantee the independence of Ukraine. So that way, that will stop the Russians from trying to expand into Ukraine even further than taking Crimea. And actually, now that I think of it, because the last time I actually recorded this, the first points I put into was into volunteer only. And I changed it to limited uh, conscription. I think what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to I'm actually going to start by getting the guaranteeing of independence. Ah, we need world tension to be at 60%. Dang it. So we can't we can't do we can't even do that. Which sucks. Man, balls. That's fine. We're going to guarantee their independence, don't worry. But I fear is the Russia and China are going to start most of this world tension or could see the Korean Democratic People's Republic of Korea do something we could see kim jong-un maybe drop a bomb who knows nobody really knows so it's going to be really exciting to see that 
So we also need motorized divisions. We don't have those at the moment. And I thought these are the reserves. I thought I took you guys out. Remove all of these. I don't need cav or anything like that. I can't save it technically. So does that still keep? Yeah, it does. Oh, it costs a little bit. So we just need to train up some troops. Okay. So we'll go ahead and make a new army out of you. And we'll just fucking train the mess out of you. Under a commander. Make it one of the... Yeah, we'll make it Vodal. I think that's how you say that man's name, is it? We're gonna go ahead and exercise. We're gonna go ahead and put a few more troops under his belt. And just exercise them where they stand. Let's go ahead and exercise get us some points so that way we can fix that up and get those motorized divisions out of there and replace them with more infantry so what else do we want to do we probably want to start the research of the new abrams but for right now we need to further work on our different things like mechanical computing for right now we don't need to really worry about military we're pretty strong as of right now we don't need to worry Russia. Now we probably should put some troops over by this area. Because Poland doesn't have an army. They don't. And you would know if they have an army because we can see them. They don't have an army at all. So we need to help them. We need to help the Polish. We need to help all of these little countries out. Because they don't have an army. We're going to definitely be a big factor if World War Three is to break out. Uh, but I don't want to break out World War III at least till I have nukes. At least until I have nukes. Because for the love of God. No, no. So yeah, the Olympics have started. Surprisingly enough, the United States is bringing 554 athletes. Wow. That's a lot of athletes. We're bringing a ton a ton of athletes which is insane because i didn't think that we were going to bring that much but we really are as far as construction goes we're building slowly but surely we're building up of course for right now we're building our uh, why do we have that did we did we really build one there i didn't know we did <laughs> we're building some oil factories so that way we can get some oil which if we look at not supplies resources there we are we're getting a little bit of oil from here. But also, what you guys told me, Alaska loves its oil. A freaking course. I should have thought of that. So we're definitely going to want to start building some over in Alaska to get some oil out of there. Because, yes, oil is fantastic and we need it. Hmm. What else are we going to do, really? Um, I'm going to wait for the Republic of Korea to join me. Of course, we need it to have a little bit more world tension. I don't want to have to start world tension in order to get them to join me, but we might have to do that. We might want to put a little bit of a force over in Alaska because it's very close to the Russians. It's going to be one of the quickest ways to get a lot of oil for them is to just jump across to Alaska, take the oil, and move down. Do I think they're actually going to do that? No. Do they actually have a ton of oil or anything over here? Not really. I think the biggest spot... They don't really have a lot as far as oil is concerned. They don't really have a lot of oil at all. So oil is a biggie. And they're probably going to look at that beautiful 400 oil and be like, we want that. And definitely want to try to jump over. Now I'm guessing is Singapore... Not as much uh, actual resources as beforehand, which makes sense. What is this? Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that country existed. Awesome. I'm learning a lot about the world right now. I feel like I should know all of these already, but I sadly enough do not. Is this the Democratic Republic of Congo? I think it is. So that's cool. We have Sudan, Egypt, Libya, Algeria. 
Somalia. Oh, it's a nice flag, Somalia. Okay, so we're almost getting to the point of no return and to the point of your guys' decision, which is going to be really exciting. And I actually, as I told you guys before, I checked out this part of it, and it's really cool. So don't worry. When we start up the next episode, I'm going to start up by reading the election paper because the election paper is really cool. Uh, I definitely like it a lot. We're going to want to get started on School of Ideology so we can further figure out what we want to do. We're going to want to get dispersed industry, of course, and we're going to want to get our machine tools more than our oil. Now, we can modify our government. And I actually didn't look at all the political advisors. They don't have any pictures. Islamic politician drifts towards radical Islam. <laughs> what? You can do that? Are you serious? Wow. I didn't even know you could do that. Dang. Okay, cool, cool. Okay. Wow, pretty. I think all of this is mostly familiar. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to want to do, though, is get limited subscription off the bat. Gives us 3.76 million men. Very good with those men. So we're going to take a few more days. I believe we'll probably stop at the maybe the 25th of October. Who knows? But yeah, this is going to technically end the episode off. Sorry, it's a little short. I'm going to try to talk to you guys a little bit here in the end. So that way we can further get what we want to do in this campaign. Because here's the thing. I haven't really, you know, I went into this blind. You know, I don't really know what to do. Because this is completely new. To the point where any decision we make can actually choose life or death for a certain country. Because a lot of these countries over in Europe don't even have an army. So that's going to choose between life or death for those people. So, I want to ask you guys this. Number one, of course, who do you want as president? Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump. Throw that in the comments because I do want to know. Because that's going to determine what we get and the amount of people who choose Donald Trump versus Hillary Clinton, whichever one is higher, will be who we choose. Also, further plans. What do you want to see us do in this campaign? Of course, I know I've asked you that before, but a little bit more in detail this time. Where do you want our deployments to go? Who do you want us to think about maybe possibly invasion or possibly, you know, trying to, what is it called, quarantine them? Of course, probably Russia being one of them. China, of course, probably being another one. Who do you want our targets to be? More specifically, I know that we want to stomp out communism and things like that. We want to try to do a democratic reproach. I know some of you wanted me to go with Putin. Some of you wanted me to stay democratic. I'm going to stay democratic just because I haven't played as a democratic nation. I can't say ever, but I the last time I played was the United States back when I played it just, just to play around. The original game. No, no mods. So that was the last time I've ever played a democratic nation. So I'm back playing the United States in a different time. And I'm going to stay democratic as always. I'm not going to try to change into some radical thing and go with russia or things like that but yeah put down in the comments what in detail do you guys want to see me do where do you want to see your deployments go etc etc who do you want to see as president and then comment what your favorite olympic game is and if not what your favorite um sport is and if you don't have a favorite sport just comment what you want <laughs> but yeah because the Olympics have started. I want to know what your uh, favorite Olympic sport is or who your favorite Olympic athlete is. You could say that too. Don't technically have to be Olympic if you don't want them to. You can just put your favorite athlete down. 
But yeah, throw those down in the comments. I want to read all of those. Of course, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It'll tell me that, of course, you guys want to see the series continue. And of course, it gives me support and it shows that you guys are really, really liking the series that you're watching. And then, of course, for those of you who have not done so just yet, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do so. We're going to be playing a lot more cool stuff, and we're going to be doing a lot more cool things in this campaign and in China and possibly in other series that will start. And we've played other games besides Hearts of Iron 4, if you don't want to see Hearts of Iron 4. I mean, of course, you probably came to the channel for Hearts of Iron 4, but we also have other stuff if you want to go watch that as well. And there's going to be more and more stuff to come. I think tomorrow, me and Rated are going to be recording another episode of North Korea. So if you guys are very fond of that, we're going to be doing another one of that tomorrow, which is going to be fun. But that's basically it. Of course, like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Until then... Glenn Games signing off and Barack Obama signing off for his last time. Because in the next episode, we are going to be choosing a new president. Which is going to be really fun. And I'm really excited about it. Because I do want to know what you guys want to see. But until then, take care everyone. Happy Olympic Day. <laughs>